pets are most at home when they're, well, at home. They're in their natural environment and at their most relaxed. So here are a couple of tips to help you get the best pictures of your pets. I'm here lying on the floor with my cat and I think that's a, a really important point that you've got to meet your animal where they're at and animals aren't all that great at being told what to do when it comes to posing. You have to work around them rather than them working around you. Now another tip for now is HDR mode. Now many smartphones have got this high dynamic range mode and what it actually does is to combine three, let's say, exposures together to try and capture as much light and dark light into a single image. Now, while that's a good thing in many ways, what it can do is slow down the picture uh, and introduce blur into the image. We don't want that, particularly when working with fast moving subjects like pussycats. So, HDR mode is off. I've got one of my cat's favorite toys here and we're gonna try and get an action shot of her playing with her toy. Isn't that right, baby? Good girl, good girl. Now I'm not worried at all the fact that this shot isn't perfectly lined up. In fact, the fact that it's at a slightly quirky angle, I think introduces more movement into the shot and works very well with the fact that my cat's being nice and active here too. I'm experimenting with different heights as well, trying to get right down onto the floor and lifting up a little bit, just to play with, I guess it would be her sense of status if she were a human. Good girl. You've got to be patient with any animal photography. The more rushed you are when working with a pet, then the more it shows in the shots and the more stressed they're likely to get. Can't rush these shots at all. Good girl. Lots of encouragement helps, particularly with cats and dogs. They can tell from your voice what's going on. Perhaps you have a pet that doesn't like being handled or is a little bit nervous. This is a, a really good tip. So what I'm using is my smartphone's selfie camera and a remote Bluetooth trigger. And my cat's sat by the side of me quite happily and what I'm doing is just using the selfie camera to frame her up and using the remote trigger to take some shots. This is a very stress-free way of her appearing in the shots and it's got some really interesting bonuses. One of which is that it lights up her face. Because the screen is showing her a picture, she's curious about what's on there and it means that I'm capturing the highlights in her eyes when she opens them. Trying a few different angles. There we go, gorgeous. And what it's giving me is a really intimate portrait of my cat while she's perfectly relaxed and sitting down. If anything, a slightly curious look on her face. Who says cats don't like selfies? Mm -hmm.